Welcome back. New tonight, a new case of the coronavirus confirmed in the U.S., bringing the total number of cases here to 60. Now, tonight, President Trump addressed the country, saying that he would be appointing Vice President Mike Pence to take over the White House's coronavirus task force. Now, the president also announced the U.S. would spend whatever is appropriate to help prevent the spread of the virus, as lawmakers debate over how much money the task force and medical officials should receive. Fox Carolina's Matt Koufax joins us live in studio tonight with an update. Yeah, guys, obviously a lot of moving parts here. The president and medical officials say local communities should begin preparing to see more cases in the U.S. However, President Trump also did reiterate several times that the administration believes the risk of exposure to the American people is still very low. President Trump pulling no punches Wednesday in response to the CDC's claims a coronavirus outbreak in the U.S. is, quote, inevitable. I don't think it's inevitable. I probably will, it possibly will. It could be at a very small level or it could be at a larger level. What, whatever happens, we're totally prepared. The president also announcing Vice President Mike Pence would be the head of the coronavirus task force, focusing on a few main goals, including increasing restrictions on travel and people coming into our borders if necessary, manufacturing gear like masks just in case, and finding a vaccine. The risk to the American people remains very low. And in speaking to the doctors, we think this is something that we can develop fairly rapidly, a vaccine for the future. Right now, there are 60 cases in the U.S., over 80,000 worldwide. But the president says the number of American cases is going down, and no one has died yet. Eight of them have returned to their homes, to stay in their homes until fully recovered. But brand new cases have popped up in countries like Brazil, Greece, and Germany. It is alarming to see it in as many countries as we are seeing it. Locally, biologists like Ginny Webb at USC Upstate say the tricky part is this disease can mimic illnesses like the common cold. This new coronavirus is just like those. It's a respiratory illness. It causes fever, coughing, chest pain, difficulty breathing. In severe cases, it can cause pneumonia. Webb says she's confident in the U.S.'s containment procedures, but also wants people to exercise caution. The best thing is to stay home when you're sick, uh, try to limit contact with people who are sick, try to cover your sneezes and coughs. The Trump administration says should they be needed, they do have large-scale response plans in place. I think schools should be preparing and, you know, get ready just in case. The words are just in case. And the main message tonight was officials are confident in containment procedures taken thus far, but the risk factor on something like this can change at a moment's notice. That's something they did stress. So far, the World Health Organization has refrained from calling the coronavirus outbreak a pandemic, but some officials believe we could be reaching that threshold very soon. And all officials say before you make travel plans, make sure you definitely check the CDC's website. Guys, back to you. Information tonight. Thank you, Matt.